Hey, what is up gamers? Enforcer 5150 here, and you may have noticed my videos have been starting to have smooth motion on it. Because on the RTX 40 series, you can now have smooth motion, and I've been using it on Helldivers 2, and it's not too bad. There are some caveats to it, so I just wanted to go ahead and show you how we can actually enable it, and see if you... Uh, like or dislike the benefits you can get from it now smooth motion basically uh kind of puts a frame in between each frame so it's kind of like uh frame generation but not really it's not really creating that same crispness but uh like i said there's caveats to it like there is a little bit of extra input lag but it is not that bad if you try to use it with frame gen in some games it's definitely going to give you uh, some really bad uh, leg. Anyway, what you want to do is just make sure you, you have the latest uh, driver, uh, the uh, 58108, and just the game ready driver. I keep on switching to my studio driver for some other things I do, uh, AI and stuff like that. So you want to make sure that you're on the game driver because it will not work right on the studio driver. Anyway, if you go over to your uh, system, or not system, uh, graphics, sorry, and then you go to your global, you'll see uh you'll have a smooth motion and you can turn it on for everything that is that you have now you can also uh go directly to the game and turn on smooth motion there uh so if you just went on to here you can just go ahead and turn it on just for that game if you don't want to use it for other games or if you just want it off for this one and then have it on for others but anyway we're going to go into the game i'm going to show you a little bit of what we get all right so now we are actually in game and you can see we're getting 138 frames per second in the ship and that is a crazy amount now normally we would get around 94 and i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and show you that but yeah, first yeah. we're gonna go ahead and just record a little bit of this and i will show you uh, a little bit of what we see all right so right now i'm actually recording with uh nvidia shadow play and in in the bridge i don't get anything I, I i don't change i'm still at 138 that's amazing and it, it looks great now you don't see it all on there that's why i wanted to record a little bit here so we can actually take a look at what we're seeing so i'm just going to go like this a bit so you can get an idea of what we're going to be seeing all right so we have our video up here and we're going to go to where i was going all crazy there we go. That's the spot. All right. Now you'll see that each frame does look pretty much the same. But as you can see, this stuff like this will happen. Now, if you ever had like on your uh, TV, you have like smooth motion and stuff like that. That's basically what it does. It, it tries to, uh, to interpolate uh, different frames in between. But you can see a, fr a real frame and a not so real frame pretty easily now this is also being recorded with the this isn't my normal recording so i'll i can always you know show you the the raw recording but this gives you the idea because you see this stuff over here and then you see everything is wavy there now you're not going to notice that at 130 frames per second uh it, it just makes it smoother now we're going to go on planet and actually look at something a little bit more chaotic. All right, I decided to go ahead and pull up one of our videos and show you what we'll actually see on some of these. And here, now this is the main thing that you'll notice. You'll even notice this in game as you're playing is player names. And as you can see, it'll get a little bit messed up as I move around. And yeah, you can see it there. You can see, you know, things kind of get a little bit warpy and it's more than just, you know, a frame or two. And you can see how that kind of goes and, and gets all and all messed up. But as you're as you're playing, as you're going, you're not going to notice it. The, the smoothness is way better. And especially on bots, bots is definitely one where I'm running in 4K max settings like this, that it really gets uh really bad <laughs> all right i'm gonna go ahead and disable uh the smooth motion and show you you know kind of what i get in the bridge there all right we are back in game and in the bridge with smooth motion off now as you can see we're getting you know 95 94 frames per second and yeah it's it's still you know 
a decent amount of FPS to get in bridge. But when things start getting chaotic, that's where you, you're going to have to start worrying or you know you need to pull some uh, graphics down sometimes. You know, I don't, obviously, uh, because we have our our uh, recordings every day which you know we run it everything max in benchmark let it let it go is what i say <laughs> even if it goes down to like 40 frames per second sometimes and i can show you actually i have an old video i have a i think uh, august 9th video i can show you uh one that didn't have uh smooth motion before we actually got it so we're gonna go ahead and run that real quick here all right so now we have this is smooth motion off this is from august 9th uh, that we we ran, and I think it was like in the city. I think I get the lowest whenever I'm in city on bots, or there's a lot. But you can see, like here, we're getting 70 frames per second, and yeah, that is just crazy amounts. Now you know when I'm even during the most chaotic parts, we're getting around 110. I think I haven't dropped under 100 frames per second since I started using the smooth motion. So I think I'm going to continue to use smooth motion. But I just wanted to do this quick video, guys, and like uh, just show you how you can get it enabled and everything and you know show that there is some problems with it. I do experience some minor crashes, but not uh, really in-game. I've mostly been running into an issue when I load the game, and then uh, I have you know issues with my, my Razer software as well sometimes, but that... Is a whole different story. Anyway, that is all we're going to do for this video today. Make sure you hit that like button. Definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel. Y'all take care and happy gaming.